And here there's a key. So this one. Shinya, suddenly realizing the odds, begs for her life. Wait, please don't kill me. Look, I know a lot and I can give you important information. I can tell you how to save the king. That's worth something, isn't it? I'm no good to you dead. Hmm. Well, I guess we can hear her out. Anxious to stay alive, Shinya blurs her story. It's obvious you know of Xanadar's plot. He kidnapped Prince Kiergar to turn the drow and the dwarves against each other. Because, wait, who? Oh, okay. Because we knew the king was too stubborn to brainwash, I poisoned him. The only way to revive him from this coma is with the potion that I stashed on a level below in the Room of the Levers. Before you can get any more information from Shindia, the party is distracted by a series of dancing lights far down the corridor. When the party turns back, she's gone. Hmm. There's something... You see Prince Kergar struggling against his bonds. He looks up at you with desperate hope. Please, you must free me. I need to return to my clan and avert the war between the dwarves and the drow. Um... Um, okay. Prince Kergar sighs in relief. I thank thee for the time of rescue. Now I must hurry to my people to warn them of two foul traps. First, the drow community was not behind my kidnapping. It was Xanathar Smithian Shindia. If my people mistakenly attack the drow in the search for me, the drow will annihilate them with superior numbers. Second, if my people continue their search for ancestral home, they will run directly into Xanathar himself. I gather from Shindia's comments that Xanathar has set up his main quarters right in the heart of our ancient city. I must find people and stop them from attacking the Drow or assaulting Xanathar. Will you accompany me, brave adventurers? Um, he joins the party, but... I'm just going to free him and, uh, like, no. Okay. It's just in case uh, you basically have to make sure that all this, these levers are up. And they, they do flip down sometimes, so just make sure it's always up. And you just get one as a reward, so that's, that's that's it. What the hell is that? Looks like a mage. It's a mind flare. Oh crap. What the hell? Spells don't work on him at all. Wow. It's an orb of... Ah, okay, I see. The orb of power. So you need that. Okay, anything here? S uh, this... Okay, this you need. This is the dwarf level, by the way. So I'm gonna save because I guess there's gonna be some kind of dialogue. This should awaken the king, you exclaim as you give the potion to the cleric. Skeptically, the cleric administers the potion. A few moments later, King Tergo awakens, still weak but very much alive. Quickly, the dwarf explained the past events to him including your part in awakening him from the coma. Grateful, the king thanks you. Brave adventurers, you have saved my life. Please accept this, our most precious gift. I can tell you little about it, save only that it will aid you in your darkest hour. Um, wand, and that's the wand I get? 
I guess it should go for the mage. Okay, I'm gonna end here for today. So this is uh, like almost the end of the game, I guess. I know how to get to the final stage. Uh, we saved the king. So it's all good. It's all good, guys. It's all good. No need to worry. I got some kind of wand. I guess it's to use on the final boss, but I'm not sure. And also I got the the orb of power, which I read like I, you need to have it to fight the final boss. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Definitely probably tomorrow, if, if all goes well, I can finish the game. And then we can move on to something else. All right. On that note, I'm going to end here. And so stay safe. Take care. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the bell button. That way you you know if I upload something new. And I'll see you next time. Otaku Up signing off.